I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Oops, I didn't know you are here. Hey guys, my name is Shin and welcome to another episode of Science at Home. I am your resident social distancing scientist of Taekdong Penang. Let me tell you something. I have a dream. My dream is to fly up very high in the sky, like the birds and the aeroplanes. But I don't have wings. How can I fly? Hmm, maybe with the help of science, we can make something that can fly. Now, here are the materials you need. Let's go! Hey, so you will need scissors and a ruler, a long manila cut strip measuring 24cm and 2.5cm, short manila cut strip measuring 13cm and 2.5cm, a few straws, some tape, and pieces of A4 paper. So we will make four magical aircraft because they are really good. Let's go! We will make the first magical aircraft which is the straw aircraft. Take the long manila cut strip and tape it together for me a loop. Next, take the short manila cut and also tape it into a loop. Draw to the inside of the big loop. This. Finally, we will take the straw to the top of the small loop. Ta-da! We are done. For the next magical aircraft, we will make a mega straw aircraft. Same step as just now. Make the long strip into a loop. Okay. Same for the small manila cut strip. We also make it into a loop. Now, we will stick these four straws onto the loop. First, we will do the bottom loop first. Okay, take a second straw. Stick it at the opposite of this first straw, here. Okay. Now we will stick the top part here. Make sure it's at the outside. And this one. Now we will attach the two straws here using the same method as just now. Then, aircraft number 3, we are going to do a wing paper aircraft. Take a piece of A4 paper and fold a triangle. We will cut 
this angle. lines this end you will fold to the center open it next line one last fold here and here We will now make the fourth magical aircraft, the loop aircraft. First, you fold a piece of paper like this. Make sure there is a triangle at the top here with the 90 degree angle. At the bottom, fold up for 1 cm wide. You have to repeat this process four times. This is first time. Number one, number two, They should fit snugly together. Like this. After that, use a tape to attach them together. There you go. Good job! We have made four different aircraft over here. As you can see, we have number one, the straw aircraft, the mega straw aircraft, the wing paper aircraft, and the loop aircraft. They don't look like a normal aeroplane, but they can really fly. Let's go and try out. I can't wait to fly the first magical aircraft, the straw aircraft. Hold it in your fingers like this and throw it forward. Let's try. 
three, two, one. Ooh. Now we shall see how the second magical aircraft can fly. Let's try. Magical aircraft number three, the wing paper aircraft. So you hold it like this in your hand. With the index finger on top, the thumb and the middle finger at the bottom. And when you throw, you throw it like this. Let's try. Finally, we have the loop paper aircraft. Hold it like this, same as just now. Throw like this as well. Let's try. If you are living in an apartment building just like me, you can try to launch your aircraft at a higher place. But make sure your parents are with you and make sure nobody is down there before you start to play. After you play, make sure you go down and pick back up your aircraft. Be safe! Do you know what makes an airplane fly? It is because of four aerodynamic forces. The forces are frontward, backward, upward and downwards force. So we'll take a look at this and this first. As I throw this pin forward, I am creating a forward force of what we call thrust. So this thrust is what makes it fly forward. But as, as it fly forward, the air will actually hit on the plane and cause air resistance. The air resistance is what we call drag. Drag is the backward force, it's what slows it down. What about the upward and downward? So you know, as, I, as it is moving in mid-air, the air actually moves on top and the bottom of the airplane. So this difference of the air is what causes the leaf force. And leaf force is facing upwards. The downward force is caused by gravity because gravity pulls everything down. The downward force is what we call weight. When all these four forces balances each other out, it will make the airplane fly. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and share it to your friends. Also don't forget to follow us on all our social media pages. Also subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you will receive a notification when we release the next video. I would also like to challenge you to make all this aircraft at home and post it on your social media with the hashtag TechDomeBilang and hashtag Science at Home. See you next time. Bye!